Let's say that you have a vector of numbers and you wanted to find all of the numbers that are unique. What you might do is create a hash map from U32 to boolean. Loop through the array and if the number doesn't exist, set this boolean to true and if it already exists, then you don't need to insert it. Here, instead of using the hash map, we can also use the hash set. Hash set is like a hash map from the key type to the value type being a boolean. If the value is already inserted, then the boolean will be true, otherwise it will be false. It allows us to create a collection where all of the elements in the collection is unique. So, for example, if we created a hash set from this vector, the hash set will contain 1, 2, and 3, but not 1, since 1 is already included. To create a hash set, we'll import hash set from std collections hash set. And to create it, it's similar to a hash map. Let's say that set is equal to hash set colon colon new. Now hash set is a generic data type. So when we declare this, the signature, the type signature will be hash set brackets. And inside this brackets, we can specify the type. For example, if we put a U32, then it becomes a hash set where all of the elements are U32. If you change this to I32, now it's a set where all of the elements have to be of the type I32. And another example, if you change this to a string, then this means that the hash set, all of the elements inside the hash set must be of type string. For this example, let's create one with U32. The type of this set is a hash set for the type U32. All of the elements will be of type U32. And to insert data into this, let's also make this a mutable hash set. This is how you would initialize a hash set. To insert elements into a hash set, we will call the function insert, set.insert. The type to insert is the type that is specified here. Let's insert the number one. Function insert returns a boolean, let insert it, and it indicates the value that is inserted over here is newly inserted, or if it was already inserted and we try to call it again, then this will return false. For newly inserted, this inserted will be true. If the data was already inserted, then the value that will be returned from this function will be false. Let's print this out. Let's also insert this again and then print it out. So the first time we call it, the inserted will be true, and the second time we call it, inserted will be false. Execute the code, and we get inserted true and inserted false. Okay, so once we have data inserted into a hash set, how do we get the data out of it? How do you know whether data is contained inside this hash set or not? We can do this by calling the function contains. So set.contains. The input that we need to pass in here is a reference to the type that is specified over here. The type is U32. So for example, let's try to query whether the number one is contained in this set or not. So to do that, you'll type one. And this is a little bit weird, but we need to put a reference, reference to one. This is gonna return a Boolean. Let, let's say contains, contains type Boolean. And then let's print this out. Print that one. Let's say contains one. Let's also query for other numbers. Instead of one, we'll put a two. And then we also put a three. Execute the code and we get contains one. Does the hash set contain one? Since we inserted one, this returns true. How about two and three? Two and three we did not insert, so contains return false for both of them. So these are some examples of how to work with hash set. It's useful when you need something like a hash map, but you only want to check whether a number is unique or a number is inserted. In that case, it might be easier to use a hash set instead of a hash map.